Pues bueno, gente. Nueva zona, ¿vale? Ya hemos acabado con Javier Escuela y Bill Williamson. Y ahora vamos a informar de los federales, a ver de la banda de Du, de Dash y demás. Venga. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, I'm so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 
All right, Mr. Fordham. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I <laughs> say, <laughs> Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. El plan ahí todo chulo, <ríe> con el eléctrico capotable. <ríe> right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Ah, bueno, anda. Que por cierto, no han dado la pistola. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver si es cierto lo que dice que ahí está Dash. No sé cómo se pronuncia Dash, Dush. Yo creo que Dash. Dush, ¿no? No sé. Yo lo digo Dush, tal como se se escribe. Gritos, gritos. No se puede ir por aquí. Vale. Hay que dar la huerta. Vale. Rostar Game, por favor. Que el GTA 6, que el sprint no sea machaca botones. Os lo pido por favor, que es muy incómodo. ¿Está volando esta mesa? No. Solo le pido a, a Rockstar Game, que no sé por qué los juegos, todos sus juegos, lo hacen así. Sprintar a la X, a la X, a la X, a la X, a la X. Es muy incómodo, tío. ¿Dónde coño está el tío ese? Estará por aquí, ¿no? Sí. La escalera. Over here. I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Nasus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Come on, we need to get him to see. My word. Hostia, ahora ha pegado un tiro, eh. A... Al herido. Le ha quitado media vida, vamos. Oh. Y ese grito, está, ese grito está guapo, ¿eh? Un grito muy famoso en el cine. Dos, o das, 
ha puesto su banda nueva, o la banda que está actualmente, es de nativo americano, de indio, ¿no? Como lo podéis ver. Mira, ¿qué hace? Bailando, mira, está bailando. Mira. <risa> Pero juego, a ver. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Viaja a Bloodwater. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! Qué lento, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser los primeros coches. No sé cuántos caballos tenía. Pero vamos, no creo que tenga mucho. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Y al último, pues bam. Ganda, arranca. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Así que sí, adelantamos y os veamos con la cinemática. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham. Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Well, 
No me gusta esta lluvia, gente. Vamos a pasar el tiempo. Una mierda, tío. Las misiones con lluvia. Hola, buena. Nunca me ha gustado en este juego la lluvia. Sigue lloviendo, a ver. Vamos a recoger munición. A ver qué pasa el tiempo. Sigue lloviendo, madre de Dios. Menos mal que lo hemos adelantado, ¿eh? Si no, todas las misiones... Todas las misiones irán con lluvia, ¿eh? Ahora. Ahora es... El de noche... Ah, de día. Vámonos. Mucho mejor, tío. ¿Qué tal? Ahora verás tú que no se puede hacer misiones. ¿En serio? Y aquí también. No me jodas. Pues nada, a dormir otra vez. Tiene cojones, ¿eh? Bueno, no vamos a dormir. No vamos a dormir porque el tiempo pasa deprisa. Era menos cuarto y ahora es casi menos diez. Vamos a esperar... Que porque si dormimos, ¡puf! Pasa seis, seis horas más y va a ser por la tarde ya, ¿sabes? Va amaneciendo y tampoco es plan. También subiré... Uy, perdón. Uy, uy. También subiré vídeo del cine de Red Dead Redemption el primero, que solamente hay dos películas, por desgracia. También lo subiré. Una vez cuando acabe yo el juego, no sé si al acabar la campaña junto a la de Un Denaime, sacaré todas las misiones secundarias o terminaré con el primer Red Dea, sacaré todas las secundarias, todas las cosas y después con el Un Denaime. Ya está. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, it's such a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. 
They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Follow me. Here. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too... Los bisontes en este juego se puede extinguir, ¿vale? Si disparamos a todos los bisontes, vamos otro día, matamos, otro día, matamos. Pero aparte de que hay un trofeo, eh, extinguimos <ríe> los bisontes aquí en este juego. ¿Vale? Pobrecillo, ¿no? Ya sabéis que en esta época los bisontes eran, vamos, estaban a punto de, de extinguirse. Talking about Nastas. Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Whoa there. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Oh, and also without. Uy, 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 uy. Vamos con la escopeta por si acaso. Creo que se han ido, ¿no? Sí. Bueno, llegamos a la nieve. En este juego hay de todo: desierto, bosque, laguna, río, nieve. Igual que en el 2. En el 2 están más bien hechos los climas. También un juego más moderno, evidentemente, el 2. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. I'm on. Sube. Dame la manita. Venga, tú puedes. Damn. 
Vaya. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Bueno. ¿Qué se va a hacer? ¿Qué se ha escuchado por ahí atrás? Vean los árboles que bien se ve, tío, con el 4D. Con el 4K que diga, coño. 4D, a ver. Anda, pues mira como un gilipollas. Que claro, ustedes no lo ven igual que yo, porque yo tengo un monitor también 4K. Vamos, un televisor en este caso. Y se ve de putísima madre, tío. También la grabación se pierde calidad. Yo no me creo que esto sea 4K. Por mucho que, la, que el vídeo lo, lo ponga, a lo mejor sí, pero evidentemente como en tu televisor recién de, reproducido no se va a ver una grabación. Porque yo no tengo capturadora. Esto es una capturadora que incorpora la consola. Claro, de, de, de todas maneras se ve perfecto, tío. Yes, look at this, a mine shaft. Hmm. This way. <risa> bueno, está hecho una raja. You should go any further. I'll be fine, but you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Por aquí o por arriba, ya no me acuerdo. No. Por aquí, por aquí. <ríe> Mira el conejillo. Alejo. Uh. Ahí se escucha oso, eh. No me jodas, yo maton, por favor. Ahí está borracho, sí, tío. Venga. Madre mía. No te resbale, no te resbale. Atrás. Vaya por mí, ¿verdad? Fuera. Lo siento. ¿Era él o yo? Está puesto aquí en mi camino. Mira la cabrita, pobrecito, los dos se quería comer. 
Su cabrita. Pobrecito. Yo lo he intentado. Por cierto, un trofeo de despellejar 18 osos. Así que tiene que darle a la casa del oso. Y ese ya ni se lo piensa. Este animal no se lo piensa dos veces. El único animal que se puede distinguir en este juego es lo que yo he hablado antes, el bisonte. Vamos, cazáis al último. Yo empecé, claro, yo me quiero platinar el juego. Por lo cual he tenido, eh, tengo, eh, bueno, me, me saqué el trofeo, ¿no? Y me vi un pobre bisonte por ahí solo. Le disparé y me saltó el trofeo. Digo, ah, ya lo he extinguido. Claro, antes iba en manada. Y a la vez que te lo vas cargando, pues evidentemente queda menos, ¿no? A ver, aquí lucho, vete por ahí. Evidentemente, para no hacer ruido. Ya me ha mirado, ¿no? Y aquí descubrimos una base. Que esta base es la de, es la de Dust. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston! Get that stuff away! You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. Ah, pues listo. What, what, what. Vamos a una década, ¿vale? Aunque este vídeo va a durar un poquillo más. Esto es lo habitual, pero bueno. Vamos a darle caña. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there.
That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I'm dragging you out of here. On foot or in a Nobody pine shoots box. until I say. I don't care. Don't shoot. That man is a hostage. Lo va a matar. Claro. Uy, lo que te ha escapado. Como que... Vaya tonto, niño, ¿cómo juega? ¿No te he dado? Vale. Dutch. Vale. Se pronuncia Dutch. Ok, yo voy a decir tú. Vamos con la pistola. Mierda. Era el gordo este. ¿En serio? Venga. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? Fifteen? Sixteen? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! I don't see him. What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. Es un puto loco, ¿no? You waited too long. Next time I'll just shoot the girl. 
That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Round up, went this way. Yeah, Come Abraham, on. yeah. Choca, chaval. No me al bosque. Vaya por Dios, mi puntería. <risas> Ay, ¿no está muerto? ¿No está muerto otra vez? ¡Hostia! ¡Madre mía! ¿eh? Entre disparos. Esto es porque tengo el rifle de mierda. Verá con el rifle de cuatro balas... ...muere de una. ¿En serio no está muerto ese? A ver... Cuidado que esta gente se descuida. Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. Bueno gente, no se puede guardar. Pues bueno, ya lo guardaré fuera de cámara. Espero que haya gustado gente y yo más te dice hasta luego.